Timothy James Byrne is a speculated 50-plus-year-old actor and musician. Timothy first created a YouTube account in 2009, with his first video being called Me Skiing, in which Tim skis down a slope. Seems usual enough. Tim has spent years creating videos of him singing and playing piano. Tim seems to play and sing the same set of songs repetitively and has done so for several years. In fact, he has since his channel's creation 10 years ago. He has, however, introduced his inability to play guitar into his production. Johnny, how much time do you raise in my version? It's near impossible to pinpoint the moment that Timothy first posted a video in which he openly displays what is transpiring in his life as he's uploaded over 19,000 videos. But from what I've been able to uncover, the month of August 2015 is a good place to start. On the 1st of August 2015, Tim posts a video called Sainsbury Marlowe Employee on Break. In this video, he records a simple Sainsbury's employee having a cigarette. While he records, however, he refers to the employee as some kind of deliberate threat. Right, there's nothing, there's like backup cameras there. Here he is again, look. it's nice to see him again, isn't it? There we are. He's got the iPod going as well. iPod's taking a picture, this camera's taking a picture. <laughs> Get some nice shots of this guy today. So he's trying to mess me around, he's, he's doing this, I think he's doing this to try and mess me around. It's, it's not, it doesn't really care that he's on his break here. His primary motive is to mess me around and to, to try and mess my head here. This is obviously Sainsbury's encouragement to do this because they, they keep using this as like a meeting place from down here to come and smoke and walk around, blow smoke over here and uh, Sainsbury's like them to do this. It's, it's their comedy policy is for them to come over here and harass me on their breaks, I think is, is what their comedy policy is. Specifically me, they want to do a spirit to me. But there you are. That's this video gives us a great insight into Tim's fractured mental health and the paranoia that envelops him. A similar video in which Tim records the threatening outside world is again posted on the 15th of August in 2015, where he records in a quick and panicked manner a simple construction worker performing maintenance on his building. And here's our Gary Fanning. <laughs> on the 17th of December, in a mad fluster, Tim briskly leaves his flat, wiping out a large off-camera object in the process. Okay, here we go again. After doxing himself entirely and pacing up and down a road, we later find out the reason for all this chaos is the parking of a DPD van. The month of June 2016 was the beginning of The Dentist. This short chapter of Tim's life would end in tragedy, and it begins with another van parked outside Tim's house. Deliberately. This was then followed by a random chair appearing. The dentist just put this chair down here. Just now, I just saw him lug it down. I saw the dentist personally lug this down the chairs, down the stairs. These events made Tim mad, really mad. So he made a video called Venting Some Steam, in which he attempts to make sense of the intense and uncontrolled turn of events transpiring around him. Well, Tina timed herself coming out my door, hit, hit, uh, out this door at me. I went down there, then I thought, okay, I know what's going to happen. The door's open, the door was on the latch down there and open. I thought, well, what the cleaners are going to do is when I go out the door, she's going to lock the door, thus lock him out. I said down here, I said about five times, he was up there, I said about five times, uh, please leave the door, please leave the door open. So I came down here, left the door open myself, went up and down, what she do? She locks the door on me, of course, okay. <laughs> so, and then what I saw after that, interesting what I saw after that, is this guy going to come past? Mr. Red Shoes is going to come past, that's fine. With his red shoes, that's fine. Don't go in my door. Is that car still there? Has that car gone away? There's a car here. What I saw after that was, uh, there's an Asian woman then, after I'd gone back to here to say something, an a she, the cleaner came around to here, an Asian woman walked up to her and had a talk with her. It, s it strikes me these people are trying to put something, these, these dentist people, that, you know, the idiots they are, are trying to put something else on me yet again, something to do with the cleaner here. It strikes me they're trying to play me if you're an idiot again and put something else on me. In no way, 
Was I threatening to actually? No, I merely said to her, I said, look, I asked you, I asked you to leave the room about four or five times. She didn't, she, the whole time through, she said nothing to me. I don't think that woman is deaf. I think she was playing a game with me and just blanking me out. I'm going to end the video there. Please put me out of business. While all these videos were being filmed, Tim still continued to record his music videos and in doing so continued making large amounts of noise right next to an operating business. Unfortunately, this could only lead to one outcome. So after all that stuff, all this business of uh, there, the dentist messing me around, all that kind of stuff, I've now just got today, from an estate agent, I've got this today, from an estate agent telling me I've got to get out of here by the 31st of August now. So they're throwing me out of this place now. On the 24th of June, 2016, Tim was given an eviction notice. His fans were heartbroken. Wait, is that review, bruh? The very next day, Tim would face his neighbour in a heated argument. business sunshine for messing me around for messing me around I need you out of business understand it I'm not messing you around yes you're messing me around you've been messing me around you've been messing me around for god knows how long and I need you out of business for doing it okay you understand me you're messing me around for god knows how long and I need you out of business for doing it to me okay you understand me I need you've been messing me around for so long I need you out but you think you're playing these clever games with me I need you out of business sunshine you understand me I need you out of my business. I need you. I need you put out of business, okay, Mr. Sunshine? For messing me around, for coming here and messing me around all the time. Oh, why should I mess around with you, bro? You are messing me around. You know you're messing around. I know you're messing around. You know me. You're messing me around, okay? I'm not messing around with anything for you. Yes, you are. No, I'm yes, you are. Yes, you are. I'm not messing around. You're know you messing me around. I know you're messing around. I want you out of business, okay? You understand me? I want you put out of business, okay? Yes. Sorry? I don't care what's fair, I want you out of your business. I want you put out of business. I don't care what you think is fair, I don't care. I don't care about your point of view or you. I want you out of business, okay? For messing me around. Yes, you are. Okay. He's gone away now. Tim would later receive a strange and threatening letter, supposedly from his neighbour. I got this. This is this was posted by one of the dentist staff before I started filming this video. Before I started filming this video, this came through the, the mailbox with the trademark wrap on the mailbox. If anyone knows who these people are or why they're why they're sending me this message here, if it's anything to do with the dentist, please put the guy out of business. End of. A while after he would leave. But our story does not end here. In 2016, Tim moved into his current flat. All seemed fine. Sure, in April 2017, he received unexpectedly a Papa John's pizza delivery. I've just had a Papa John's pizza delivery guy trying to, order, trying to deliver me a, me a pizza here in my flat here, which I did not order. So this is me cooking my lunch. Okay. Why would, I, why, would I order, why would I order a pizza when I'm in the middle of cooking my lunch? I wouldn't order a pizza when I'm in the middle of cooking my lunch. But other than this, and a minor parking inconvenience... When I moved into this flat, there were, there were no cars. When I, when I viewed this flat, moved it, no, I paid the money up front, viewed it, there were no cars, and there were no cars in the car park. Great big car park, and yeah, I'm blocked in all the time. All was fine, and Tim could make his music videos in peace. That is, of course, before 
The Hack. It seems in the year 2017, the biggest hack in recent recorded history would stand in between Tim and his music videos. Now, Timothy James Byrne had been hacked before, back in January 2016. Look at my, look at my, do you understand, what, does anybody know what's going on here? Look at my, I can't get, I'm gonna have to reboot this now. I think the only way I'm gonna get out of this is reboot. But never like this. This time, it was especially bad, and would last up until 2019. This is what, my phone, I can press any button I like on this phone. I've been using this all day in, in Oxford, this phone. Press any button I like, all it will do is out on the screen. That, that shows that I'm being hacked, and my phone is being hacked, my communication is being hacked in this country. Please! That is, of course, because there is no hacker. Instead, what Tim interprets as hacks are really mere tech mishaps, most likely due to old equipment. This concludes 2017, and I have decided to skip over 2018 as not much occurs except a beeping sound in his ceiling. In 2019, Tim's neighbours begin a construction project that Tim still complains about to this day. From what I've been able to find, it is determined that the earliest video of this construction work was on the 9th of January, called Constant Building Noise Today, in which he films a wall and then passionately pleads for a United States citizenship. Timothy on several occasions pleads for the unrealistic idea that someone from the USA shall come rescue him from the UK and provide him a citizenship in the USA. As time progresses, Timothy would continue to film the construction noises pleading for a citizenship from the USA. Tim would go as far as to wish death on the construction workers. I've been terrorised by these old thugs all year. You know what I'm I've got absolutely no good things at all. The only thing I want from them is where they're dead in the ditch that they're digging out there. I'd like to make that happen. Eventually, things would get so great that Tim would record several heated interactions with the workers. That's where I do my singing guitar videos there. Don't, shut up, you! Don't talk to me, shut up, okay? You don't talk to me, okay? Just don't, you don't talk to me. You don't answer back to me, you don't talk to me, okay? This is the construction site right next to Marinty Flat today. Okay, that's where I do my singing guitar videos. There, that's the construction site right next to me. You can understand why this is a problem for me when I'm doing my things. They think, they think this is very funny, they think they're being very clever. I think they're being great. Shut the hell up, you shut the hell up, you don't talk to me, you shut the hell up. Hey! But to no avail, they continue making noise and Tim continues to complain about its impact on his videos. Other than this, in 2019, Tim showed a new side to himself, exposing several nude photos of himself on Twitter. This and his perpetual doxing would eventually lead to a police visit. Some um, members of the public are a bit worried about you because they've seen um, the things that you've been putting on Twitter and that you've, you've put your address on there. Um, Stop doing this on me. I don't want to speak to you about this, okay? Wait, I'm allowed to put myself on Twitter if I want to. People are, I mean, I'm being harassed in this place. I'm being harassed by this building site in North Dix Dorf. You said this before. I'm not prepared to speak to this, okay? okay. We're, we're here because we're concerned because. I know you can post stuff on Twitter, but you're completely within your rights. You're interrupting my video, you're interrupting my video. Okay, I'm sorry, we won't be long if you let us talk to you. Um, we're concerned, obviously you can go on Twitter, but the fact that you're posting your address on there, and you're attracting unwanted visitors, and we're just a bit concerned for you in that aspect. We, we, don't, we just don't want people finding out who you are, where you live, and taking advantage of you. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, I mean, I'm being harassed the ends of the earth by these builders here, okay? Every day, okay. I'm not happy with the situation or something, okay? Okay. I'm trying to make it aware that I'm being harassed by these builders every day in my life in this girl place or something. You, you, you be here when I'm doing this, when these people are harassing me, okay? You don't understand what's going on. You know you're interrupting my video to harass me again. Please leave me alone. Please go away. Please leave me alone. I've, I've spoken to you about this. I want to put myself... I'm, I'm, I'm quite happy what I'm doing on Twitter. Please leave me alone, okay? Okay, but do you understand the concerns that Yes, I do, have? but I'm, 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 I'm concerned that I'm being harassed by these people over there, okay? What are they doing? They're running your bills out right next to me every day. I, I paid my years' rent in advance, and they're running bills out right next to where I'm doing my videos that I'm making here. You, you know what's going on. You're just playing against um, not me. What are they doing that's bothering you? For God's sake, they're running bills out right outside the door and doing my videos. I'm trying to make my videos, okay? So is it the noise that they're Yes, the noise they're doing, doing deliberately just going around. 
Okay, um, well, well what advice I can give you to do with noise is obviously if it is building site. No, no, do it. I'm staying in this place. You, what you got to, I, I need them shutting down as well. I can't be living in this stupid place with a street like this all day. I'm not shouting, I'm telling you what's going on. Please leave me alone, would you? I've said what, I said my case here. If you get to keep running that building site, I'm keeping making these videos and posting what I'm doing, okay? But we're unaware of the building site. Yeah, well, if you're going to keep, if that's going to keep running that speed, I'm going to keep making myself aware that I'm stuck in this place where people are asking me all day long, okay? You should use the fact that people are asking me all day long. These people here, not me. These are the people that brought not me, okay? Over the years, it has been speculated that Timothy's ever deteriorating mental state is simply some kind of elaborate prank. And it is easy to understand why. As something as unusual as Timothy James Byrne is hard to take seriously. However, personally, I don't believe the speculation that Timothy James Byrne is playing some kind of prank to be the more dominant argument. From the persistence Tim displays, such as auditioning for the X Factor. For me and you, and I think to myself, what a wonderful world. And of course, posting nude photos of himself on Twitter. I truly believe Tim has a snowballing mental instability, which requires serious medical attention, which I urge Tim to seek out. Thank you for watching. I would also like to give a shout out to I Am Sir Zach, who also made an excellent documentary on Tim, which I would highly recommend.